everyone, and welcome to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World Alive. Did you think it was gone? No more Jurassic World Alive. No more dinosaurs on the channel. All he does is play chess now, apparently. No, don't be ridiculous. No, we are back. Um, now, there's a couple of reasons why I've taken a break uh, from recording. The, the main one being COVID. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of not the easiest thing to record with, and I'm still kind of recovering from it. But hey-ho, here we are. Um, but... I have not been slacking when it's come to Jurassic World Alive. Oh, no, 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 no. Because if we have a look and we look at leaderboards, you'll notice that, oh, I'm 90 now. I've actually went up 34 places. I haven't done anything sweet. Um, so I am now in the top 100 players of the entire game. Can we get it? Top 100 <laughs> Yes. So, yeah, that, that happened. How did that happen, you might ask? Well... Um, a p p p little, little thing called pay to win happened. So, is it much of a coincidence that the entire time I've been playing this game, for, for at least for a long time, I have been in Gyrosphere Depot and have not moved? For like years that has happened. However, the one moment I start, or the one time I start putting real money into the game to buy the newest creatures or the best creatures, well, would you believe? I'm number 100 in the world. Isn't that brilliant? I mean, for for paying like £3,000 or something stupid, stupid, that's going to happen. Um, I guess what we can quite unequivocally prove is that this game is 100% pay to win, dear. Um, unfortunately. So we're just going to quickly just donate a couple of things. We're going to get blue. But there is um, news through the grapevine of the newest change coming to the game as well as... You know that new hybrid that we didn't get uh, yet. I think everyone voted and I think it was the Indominemis. Or at least it hasn't been proven that we're getting the Indominus Rex and Smilonemis hybrid. But, I mean, I did a poll on my channel and what was it like? Oh my god, that is crazy numbers. Look at this. So apparently 45,000 people voted. And you had like, one, two, three, four, five different choices. And Indonemis got 73%. That's like 30,000 votes. If not even more, more than 30,000 votes. Which is ludicrous. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe that's just my audience. That's what they wanted. But uh, apparently people have voted for the new hybrid. Oh, of course, unfortunately, when you click that, you get the horrible goat dying sound. Even though the goat's not there. So... What is coming to the game? Well, the news to the grapevine, and I think this is through a game press, um, like a deep dive. Or, ooh, down the rabbit hole. Hold on. Down the rabbit hole. Well, not really down the rabbit hole, but you know what I mean. Um, what they've proven is or through like a, a data mine. That's the one. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, that there is going to be big changes to the meta, basically. Sometimes they update a couple of things, it doesn't change anything, but this time it it, it kind of looks like it's, it, it's going to be a big change. Just realized, yes, there we go. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you, David. Um, so, one of, the big, one of the creatures that is being used heavily at the moment is the Alberta Servia, the Albertosaurus hybrid. You know the thing where it gets revenge and then it can basically do whatever it wants. Does it want to go for two times damage? Does it want a priority to do like... I don't know, 6,000 damage? Because they've all got max attack. Or does it want to distract you? Or, basically, it can... Or does it want to break your shield? It could do anything. If it comes in a revenge, it's 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 basically like small brain. You know, you don't need a big brain to play. It's like, ah, there you go. Just do whatever. And you'll you'll basically get a kill from it and you want to switch out. Um, however, that Albertosaurus hybrid seems to be getting a nerf. Now, we don't know what the nerf is, but its stats are changing. I think it's attacks being put down, something like that. Uh, we saw that with Paratops. Paratops' uh, attack got nerfed, I think, as well. Um, also, I, I want to say Ref has also, um, is, is a bit buggy. Now, we know that its super distraction has changed a million times uh, from its, its, its image not doing its stun, even though it shows stun and all this jazz. But basically, I, it's, it's very rare for you to do this, but you can actually make sure that the ref's super distraction doesn't go through cloak. So you have Deocaris against Indotaurus. You swap out the Deocaris for ref, so it gets a cloak on the swap out, and then it does its priority cloak. 
Now, when you do the ref and you go for the instant distraction thing, it's supposed to go through cloak, right? Well, actually, it only goes through one. And then with the other one, you're up to 66% chance for you to get through. I know this because I've done it and went, wait, what? How did I not go through that? So apparently it doesn't nerf all uh, cloaks. So maybe Lydia wants to fix that. So what we're going to be doing now is the Petrano Kiri. Um, also, we're not done with the updates because apparently the data mine has shown some other things as well uh, with flocks. Apparently flocks are going to be majorly nerfed. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do that. They might just put more moves, hit all of them. But flocks, oh, they're a... Uh... Oh, boy, they're, they're, they're a nuisance. They are a nuisance, but they are in the game, and that's how the, it wants to be played. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, we're doing Patrano, Valkyrie, whatever you want to call it. This strategy is the quickest strategy you could probably ever do uh, with this. So you need two Mortem Rexes. Uh, one of them needs to be above 3,000 damage, the other one over 2,800 damage. And I'm kind of okay. That's what I fit into because I took all the attacks off it. Okay, let's go. Defeat the boss in only what should really be, uh, what is it? Four turns. Yes. Um, have we got everything? I think we do. Basically, the, the great thing is when you play with a Mortem Rex, you don't really even have to, like, concentrate. You you just go for, like, the roll, then medium hit, big hit roll. You just cycle that's that's normally i think what you go for when it comes to uh morton rex yes we'll take a picture so first hit you boost everybody's attack second hit boosts everybody's attack and rexy already having loads of attack oh kills all the pteranodons and then uh you have morton rex which goes for another hit which boosts even more attack and the amount of damage that the the little birdie bird does is ridiculous. It's got like a render, but after having three increased attacks... Oh, 20,000! Jesus! I, there's probably a way to beat this in only three turns. Probably. Um, but I think you need... I think you just need to focus down with... With this one, you need a little bit of a breather in the middle, and then you just repeat basically the first step for the fourth turn. Because everything's had time to cool down, dear. So now we go for the big one. Uh, it is such a shame that this apex dinosaur is, like, kind of useless. Uh, because of its, like, its, like, switch out ability, a lot of things will come in and then do damage to you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you reduce it by 50%. But let's be honest, most things want to swap in or have a counter as well. So, I don't know. I have yet... To see anybody in the top 100, like in PVPs, use the Tyrandon hybrid. Uh, probably because they sort of knew from the get-go it wasn't very good, so they haven't been buying the incubators. Um, oh, that's, oh, that didn't kill it? Oh, I thought it would. Oh, this one will, though. Yes! A devour from Rexy doing 18,000 damage. Oh, and you know what? Rexy, I use Rexy. And because of the way flocks are, uh, Rexy has two attacks that go and hit all opponents, which is brilliant. One being a priority move. Um, and I, I don't know. I feel like... Do I feel like the meta is in a place at the moment where it's good? I guess probably not with the way the you know, most things are like I'm facing up against are always the same. So probably not the best. Oh, yes, that's killed it. And then after this, just one more turn and we've done it. Not since Mortem Rex have we had raids be so nice to do. Oh, Lord. I don't know why. Mortem Rex is still the only Apex creature that has a two-round, like, refill. And it only has two bars. And I don't know why. why. Why can't we just have all of them have, or more of them have less than three bars? I, it doesn't so, I feel like some one of them has like four bars or something ridiculous. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it just feels like it had four bars. Probably. Probably it feels more like. Uh, so that'll kill all of them. And then... Oh, the T-Rex does have a speed boost. I don't know if it's a speed boost for everyone. I know that it boosts attack for everyone. But if it does, that's really good. Because then um, we're gonna... It's not even gonna do anything. And it's just such a joy. It's such a joy, and it's so nice. But it's completely offset by the fact that this Apex is rubbish. So, yay! 
<laughs> so I'm expecting now for the meta to completely change uh, from Alberta. It'll be interesting to see what other, what people put in instead of the Alberta Servia hybrid, um, and also to see what they if they choose to stick with flocks, depending on how badly they get nerfed. Yeah. <laughs> we do it, yes, and there it is. All the 20,000 down it goes. Banana Beak is killed. Does look a bit like St. Doctorus, doesn't it? Well, there you go. The easiest, easiest of all the raids of the Apexes. Um, I'm also five off. Oh, five. Five freaking DNA off maxing out the crocodile. And at the moment, I could spend 50,000 bucks. Oh, 20, I guess, isn't so bad. It's the second worst. But hey, oh, it's not the worst. Um, yeah, like, I'll have a look. I'll show you what I'm on. Because I, once I get this crocodile maxed up. Oh, I love when sometimes it's like, no, 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 you just see names. I know people have said, oh, you can go in this setting. And da, 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 da. I don't have time for that. So yeah, I've decided to boost the crocodile's attack all the way up. Because in some circumstances, you don't want to attack first. You just want to go for Basque. Get your attack up to something redonkulous, like 9,000 damage. Like, if you're against Paratops, like, Paratops has swapped in and killed something, send out this crocodile, go for its, like, priority, and 33% chance that it will avoid the stun, so meaning 77% chance it won't. You stun it, you lock it in, you get your attack boost, and I, most of the times you're faster than a Paratops, because it's only got 111 speed or something like that. And then... Just go for the big hit. Just go for that big hit, man. Uh, I'll have a look. What What is its speed? Actually? Yeah, 109. They, they normally max its attack up. Give it a little bit of health. Very rarely, if ever, will a Paratops outspeed a Crocodile. Uh, the only other change that I've made to my team, I guess, has been the Ankylos. Now, normally I have this maxed up attack, but I've reduced this attack to give it just enough to make sure that as long as Alberta Servia doesn't get a crit... Alberta can go for the instant um, hit with it and get its attack boost and also then break its shield, go through armor, and it will still survive. I think there's a way to actually uh, make sure that I do die and I think it's to go for the like the rampage and then to go for the attack that goes through. So, uh, but you already have to have your um, what attack boost at that point. But it's interesting, actually. That slight difference means you survive with 30 health and you kill Alberta Servia. And I think that difference is... It's definitely happened to me once where I've actually killed it. Alrighty, here we go. The monster paratops. Uh, it's... I mean, most of these raids just like... Sweet. So, this one's how long now is it? <laughs> What's good about this one is that it's, it's mainly the same. It, it sort of stays the same, which I'm kind of happy for. Don't would last too long now, do we, dear? Out of everything it could have went for? Ah, oh, the fact that it went for that one? The weakest? I, ooh, I don't know if that bodes well. But we got a Thordor. Look at the Thordor. It actually has a skin. Oh, brilliant. And it's... Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently we're going to kill this one in two. And then for round two, we kill it in another two. And then round three... We kill it in one, so it's going to take five turns and three to, to do three rounds. Okay, okay. Reduce the speed, just in case anything did survive. There you go, would have died there. Let's do emojis, let's do sleepy blue, yes. So, I think last time I um, I made a video, or it was a live stream on Jurassic World Alive, I put in two flocks. It was the Tarbaganathus hybrid thing, a uh, little compy, as well as... as Comparaptor, Comparaptor, um, but I've taken the Tarbaganathus out just because it felt like if I get two flocks, the chances of something going wrong is incredibly high. Like if something has, oh, it like a Dilochiris actually has things that go through both or hits all opponents. Paratops as well, and a Revenge can hit all opponents. Ref has a good priority that can hit all opponents, and you can't reduce Ref's attack. So you have to, well, you'll probably die. Uh, the one thing I've seen, actually, um, Compsoraptor, I fought against a level 29 Comp Compsoraptor. No idea how this person did it. It must have got very lucky on the, uh, on the fuses, but it actually survived a hit from Referantum, like the priority hit, which I was really surprised at. I think it had about like 4,500 health, 
which is more than enough to tank. I think you need, I think Ref does around about 4,000 max. So to do that and then cleanse itself and then hit you and then you, you're basically dead. I was, I was really surprised. It just took me because I'm so used to doing the same, like, opponents be the same kind of enemies over and over and over. And the fact that it survived that hit, I was like, this does not compute. What, what just happened? But there we go. Uh, this one again is going to take two. It, it's nice doing the parakeet because if you do this, then you do, you always, I mean, if I'm playing, you know, if I, I always do the paradox because it's quite easy. I don't have to think. It's always first turn, go for that one. Second turn, it's one of the heals. And then the final one, just go for the biggest hit. And you did it. Yay! Hold on. What, what kind of sound effects do we get? Oh, I, I put on here. Now, Chandra approaches. Yeah, there you go. Very quiet, but it's there. It's there. Um, always as well as... We've pretty, pretty much done it. It's just... It's just time, man. It just takes so long. What good news is, actually, that the raid system for autofill... I feel I've I've I'm I'm able to do it quite well. Um, if I'm at a point where nobody's online and I just do autofill, as long as I'm working on a strategy, most people know what they're doing. If they're doing autofill, they, as long as you, I mean, you can tell if they don't have the dinosaurs. If they put in like a T-Rex level 12, you you can pretty much just be like, okay, because they're not gonna know what they're doing, or you just leave and then restart. Um, I've been able to do a couple of raids, both apexes. That way, um, I think actually even a paratops this way I was able to do. Um, so that's good. It doesn't mean that you don't need to, you know, have, you know, a, a team that knows exactly what they're doing. That are chatting on Discord, um, which is great if you do have that. But also, you know what? It's nice that you can, for the for the normal pleb who maybe doesn't know what they don't like how people are on all the time. Uh, it's nice. Oh, he should be dead. That. I mean, does it heal on the counter? It does! I've not. Look at that! I've, I've paid zero attention to this. And yeah, of course it does, but it's definitely dead now. Oh, 6,800. And even then, if it wasn't dead, another 2,000 damage coming through? Actually, it's only level 25, so. Probably like 1,800, is it? Oh, it's 2,000 with the boost! Oh, yes! And then we go and heal, and finally, the last turn. Yes! And then, what we'll do is some top 100 battles to see just what I am facing. And of course, lose three times in a row because that's what you've came here for. You want to see, you know, learn by my mistakes. Scream at the screen. What did Viva do wrong this time? Yes, that's what you've came here for, really. Not to see me win, to see me lose. <laughs> right, we'll go for that biggest hit and that should be it. Get a mutual and then Thordor will be able to kill both of those. Then a big hit coming in from the German Titan. They might actually need me. Oh, saying that, if they got two attack increases, they might do. Oh, if that's true, that Thordor is going to do so much damage. And with a crit. Oh, 8,000. Maybe it was with two. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. I was wondering. I was like, two, that... Even though it's a lot of damage, that's not two like attack increases from a Thordor. Oh, sorry, they would be level 30. I think 25 is the max you can do this. If it's an Apex, you go up to level 30, I think. Is that... Have you done... Yes, I get the kill! It's me! Bam! Parity, kill parity. I have been using this thing for how long now? And I still have yet to get it maxed up. There has been so many cases where if I had it maxed up, I would have been able to switch in and kill the opponent. But because I'm not, I'm like, oh, God damn it. Oh, I can't wait. One day, one day I'll be able to. Oh, oh, brilliant. Stegoceratops, yay. And finally, we get 46. Well, we've got a long ways to go. We've got a long ways to go, yes. Because I cannot get the ingredients for that to save me life. Right, is there anything? Oh, hold on. Let's start a Therizinosaurus. Because... When I looked at all of those dinosaurs um, that came in the new update when I got to, do, like, test the beta build um, and everything was maxed up, the Therizinosaurus hybrid that was a legendary seemed pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It had, like, a... It was the only creature that had, like, a triple hit attack. Now, what I thought would be a really good idea, because you've got the flock creatures, right? And you get some dinosaurs that can do two hits in a row, three hits in a row, and that will kill a flock. 
in one hit, right? But what I was also thinking, what, what would be a good downside to that to counter it is what if something like the crocodile that has a passive counter or even into Taurus, which does like the rendering, it did it for each of the hits. So like, yes, this thing can take out flocks like that, but if they predict you going for that move, they can swap in like an Ankylos Lux, which will swap in, get a 50% shield, and also have the armor, and do like three counters to you. I don't know. That just seemed to be a good way for it to go. But anyway, let's do a new Blanc Shores battle, shall we? Okay, here we go. I gotta put my money where my mouth is. Am I any good? Ooh, interesting, interesting. So if he has Indratorus, right? Because sometimes Indratorus is a good starter, really. And what I want to do is actually, before I, you know, put all the money into the game, see what my team was and just compare it. That would be that would be an interesting video. Maybe next time we'll do that. I Imperative Sutures is it's a good one to start with. Just as I say, man. Just as I say. I thought that would be the case. So at this point, I feel as though. I could probably risk it trying to uh, stun him and 50% chance, but he'll go for this and then we can switch into the Compsoraptor, right? At least this way, we're going to bleed him out for a little bit. He's going to do a massive amount of damage, though. Like, I have no resistance to Ren, I don't think. Do I? Oh, no. Oh, thank God I do. Oh, Jesus. Okay, but we do a little bit of bleed. That's good. Now what he's going to do is his massive attack. Now, I don't want to fodder off Imperator Suchus. Imperator Suchus is very good. So we'll give him the double cloak. At this point, Ref isn't guaranteed to get through the cloak, which is interesting. I don't have Ref, but we do have something that, you know, will punish him if he does decide to switch out, which he will do. Oh, my God. I didn't think he was going to swap out like that. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, we are resistant to that, but it's, it's not enough when he's got two cloaks on. And a Dilokairis. Very interesting. Oh, and do we get... I think we get a health bag now because he swapped out. Do we? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, okay. So, I... Ooh, I was going to say, if I had something that could swap... If I had Paratops in after, I could do the Rampage and run. But... I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this one. We're just gonna make sure that we don't take any damage from this. Because he's gonna heal. He's probably gonna go for his um like the speed boost heal, more than likely. Oh he doesn't! Oh Okay. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. Um I mean he's still Oh, he's not reduced! Oh, he's not reduced! We need some of the priority, but I don't really have it. Uh so I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, we lost. We lost this one. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus. Maybe, maybe I should have went for the playful pants. Okay, my bad. I th I've thrown this one away already. But can I claw it back? That's what you come here to see. Um, right. Okay. Now, we need to make sure. I think we may be quicker than him. If I give myself a 10% speed boost. Worst case scenario. Yeah, he, he can do that. He gives himself a massive heal. Now he will lose his speed boost. I feel like he'll still be quicker, right? Or will I be quicker? Let's see. Let's see. What's he going to do? Oh, I'm quicker. So, right. Unless he's got a flock, which high chance he probably will. He's losing something. He's, lo he's losing Indotaurus. He probably won't fodder off the Dio here. It's too valuable. Way too valuable. Ah, it's a Tarp again. I knew it. I knew it was going to be something. Right, we're definitely... I, I hope we're definitely killing one. Because we're going to do 8,000 damage. I don't think there's any way, even with a cloak, to avoid that. Right, okay, that's one dead. Um, It's not looking good for me, this. Oh, he's had, like, the perfect team so far. The, but, like, Tarbaganathus Tarba to counter me. He's then going to use his, um, like, attack next turn to get one back. Oh, and then I think I'm dead after that. I don't think I stand much of a chance. Um, I mean, I think. Does he, he doesn't lock me down. And he only does. Oh, he does. He does. You know what? He does a lot of damage. Oh, no, he does lock me down. Uh, well, you know what? I don't think it would have made a difference. He would be on this either way. Yeah, we, we lost this one. We lost this one. Perfect counter. God damn it. 
Right, let's see. Is there a chance in heck that I can survive? Um... I mean, he's going to do a lot of damage here, but it's not necessarily a win. Or like a kill. 2-0 down. 2-0 down. Oh, brilliant. Okay, oh, you know what? Okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. We could be in a worse situation. The only problem is he's got that dealer Kairos. He's got his own. And when two dealer Kairoses come up against each other, it's it's anyone's game. It's it's sheer luck. Unless you can predict so many like turns ahead. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna switch to the crocodile. He's gonna do a big hit. I don't think it goes through armor, which I'm glad for. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I will get a counter off. I'm immune, actually, so it's not bad. It's still pretty bad, but it's not the worst. We do get a counter off. Now, I, are we guaranteed the stun? I think we are. Yeah, he can't be swap prevented, which means that next turn, he could switch out. He could. But what would he want to swap out to is the question. Right. So, he could swap out into the Tarbaganathus. He could swap out to... He's, he might even just fodder this off, you know. I think he might fodder this off. I think he's just going to go for... Oh, he doesn't! Right? Okay, well, he wanted the counter. How much damage? Oh, two th Oh, you hate to see it. Noobs only have max damage and close luxes. Uh, yeah. There's, there's literally nothing I could do here. Um, I... Yeah. I mean, if I went for my max attack, I could have killed him and I was tempted to. But at the same time, like, what are the chances? What are the chances? So at this point, I have to swap back into my own dealer, Kairos. Um, now, he could swap back into his his Ankylosaur looks at any point and do just a lot of damage. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm quicker because I think I gave myself, like, one extra. Oh, one, two extra speed boosts. Um, so... I mean, he can go for his biggest hit. So if he's doing that... Oh, I knew he was going to... I was tempted, actually. To, okay, there's been twice now. I've been a little bit outplayed. Just a little bit outplayed. Okay, okay. Uh, so he's got it for this turn and the next turn. Okay. Right, so here comes a big hit of 2,000 damage. And he's still got his invincibility. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this one. Uh, there was a two attacks as well. It was one attack. Okay, so... No, I would have died. I would have died because he would have counted me. And yeah, yeah, I would have died here. So he's got his shield. Um, oh, and now... Now comes the instant um, invincibility for two turns. And at that point, I think it's game. It's game. Oh, he played that so well. He played that... Like, annoyingly... He had, like, something to counter everything that I put in. He was like, oh, by the way, you've, you've got Dilokairis. Oh, sorry, you've got uh, the, the thing. Oh, well, he is Tarbaganathus. Oh, what's that? Uh, Dilokairis, he is Anglosaur Lux. So, unfortunately, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, he's got two turns worth of that. But there's nothing I can do at this point. I may as well... If I swapped out a croc, I'd die with the Rampage and Run that he's going to do now. And, uh, yeah. So, that's a bit of a bugger. So, uh, next battle, shall we? Why? So, Indotaurus was a bugger that time. I, if I have the chance to stick out ref first, I will. Because it's just... Oh, uh, yes. I'll do that. So, Dilakairus. What's coming out first? It's a ref. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'll happily take that. Like, these battles always go a certain way. Like, I could do that. And then I'll go for the heal. He'll go for either his super distraction or he'll go for his biggest hit. Um, I mean, really, I want him to go for his biggest distraction. That's what I want him to do. Um, because now he's going to do a big hit to me. And then, if it's enough and he gets a crit, which he didn't, he could he could have swapped in the Alberta Servia and done a crud ton of damage. So, at this point, I'm left with two choices. I stay in and I go for... Either my heal or the biggest hit. Well, I've already done the biggest hit. Never mind. Uh, for some stupid reason. If I stay in and go for a heal, I can at least counter him a little bit. But he's already done his super distraction. So at that point, 
I want to swap in the Comsoraptor. If I swap in the Comsoraptor, I'm pretty sure it's GG against Ref anyway. I mean, he could swap out at this point. He's, st he's still in with a chance to swap out. Yeah, in comes the biggest hit. Reduces my crit, but I don't really need that at this point. Right, okay. So we're going to cleanse ourselves. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. And now I think he has his... He's got a cooldown of three, so he's only done two attacks, actually. Um, and now he's not quicker. I'm pretty sure, right? So he did his... He did that normal hit. Then he went for super distraction. A big hit, little hit. So at this point... Yes, okay. Woo, just... Just wanted to make sure I wasn't, you know, pulling a stupid on myself there. I was like, oh, I can get an extra one back here, can't I? Right, now we want to get out. And what's good about this is actually we could get out. And ooh, we'll, we're swapping into... Oh, I don't like it. We're swapping into the... Do we follow up? Do you like... Yeah, go on. I'll, I'll do some damage to him. We'll do some damage. I mean, he may even just go for a heal. And if he does go for heal, that's great for me. But I feel like he's going to go for his revenge big hit to kill my Comso. But in this case, he killed my Dio. So, you know what? Oh, he got a crit as well. Well done. Well done. We'll give him a... Give him a well done. Well done. Okay. So at this point, he's dead. He can't swap out because he will die. Um, he could go... Oh, he's, he's dead. He might get the... If he gets stunned. Oh, and he gets locked in. That's it. Nah, doesn't matter what he does now. This is pure power. So actually, yeah. Oh no, he could survive. I do 7,000 damage and he does he has 7,000 health. So actually, um, he, oh wait, what? He could have went for his heal and he might have survived. But then again, there's nothing he could do. Well, he would do maybe, I mean, I'm still quicker. So yeah, there's nothing he could do. He was either to try and attack and die or go for a heal and then try and attack next turn and die. So there's nothing he could do. Um... So, oh, I think, I think this may be game now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're putting in an Ankylosaur looks against me. I, like, Ankylos is probably going to kill me. Oh, look at him. He's done, he's done the lead strat of, like, taking off some attack and putting it on the health. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, he knows he's done at this point. Why else would he not have went for Hostile Glow? Uh, oh, he, he could... Yet, should we? Let's just prolong the inevitable years. Kill him. We oh hold on. We is ours to do request what we please. <laughs> or he can just die from a bleed out. Yeah, there you go. So you know what? The only downside with being up here is that every time you lose, you lose 40 cups. And every time you win, you win 20 cups. So in order to keep on increasing your cups. You need to win three times for every loss. And when you see just, you know, the opponent you're facing against, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> we'll do one more to see if we can get back up to where we were. Hmm, you know what? If I, if I have the chance, I mean, normally they, they put it into Taurus. Uh, <gasps> it's got a Valkyrie! Bless him! Oh, that's so nice! I mean, it's probably not going to be good for him because he's, he's probably going to force me to swap out. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, he was not happy with that. So basically, I don't want, like, I don't want to, I don't want to say it, but I think I've won this one because he's a, he's a dinosaur down basically. But you know what? You've unlocked it. Maybe not legit because, yeah, you've probably spent bucks and real money to get that. Because uh, I don't think there's any way to legit unlock it at the moment. It's, it's only been out for a little period of time. Um... But you know what? You, you put in the effort. You've spent money. You've got the Valkyrie. I appreciate it. I appreciate the microtransactions. <laughs> From one to another, you know what I mean? You, tr you thought it was going to be good, but just like me, you were lied to. Uh, right. Okay. So, we do a counter, which is good, because we do a lot of damage to him. Oh, oh I did level 30. Level 30. Level 30. Uh, and at this point... I'm just going to go for the heal. We, we get the stun. Um, we'll get a health increase. Now, it's up to him what he does here. Because he's at a point where even if he goes to his priority, I'm going to break through it. Right? And on the counter. So I may as well just go for a huge hit. Because he might even swap out. We'll see what happens here. Um, he might just... Go oh, he swaps out. Interesting. Interesting. So he's increased my attack again. 
again? To do, to, oh my god, I do 9,000. Oh, oh 9,300. What am I against? Oh, he's dead, I think. Is he dead? Oops, sorry. We're blurring. There we go, we're back. And oh, the crit as well. Oh, it's a level 30. Oh, I don't know if that was a guaranteed kill there. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's down two dinosaurs. And one of them's Ankylosaur Lux now. Oh, yeah, he knows. Yeah, I think he knows at this point. He knows it's over. He's already going for the cleanse when I haven't even bled him out yet. Um, oh, never mind. There you go. Wow, okay. Maybe he's in with a shot here. It's possible. Uh, I, I guess I'll just go for my Ankylos Lux. Because at least then, I think I... Do, does my counter remove dodge? I think my counter might remove dodge. Yes, it does. Okay, so he's... Oh, going for the swap. Interesting. Okay. Is it going to be Valkyrie? Is Valkyrie coming in? So he's lost one, but it doesn't make a difference because he's probably going to swap in anyway. Right. So I get an invincibility. He doesn't have anything that cancels invincibility, right? Oh, he's got his own. Oh, of course it comes in with its invincibility. Ah, oh, he doesn't even get the stun. I wish he did, because now I'm going to be hit with a counter. But actually, I'm glad he didn't, because now he's going to take me below half health, and I can go for my instant alert and get the invincibility. Oh, oh, it is not going in his favor here. Um, so all I need to do now is... Ooh, actually, actually, it's pretty tricky now. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hmm. So I've got my invincibility. Um. Yeah, he's gonna go for his now. I there's I don't think there's a way for him. Okay, there's the stun. Very good, very good. I got invincibility for two turns. One more turn. Um, and go for a hostile glow. Just you know, in case the invincibility disappears, at least we got the hostile glow. Okay, okay. Now what's it going? Is it two attacks? Oh wait, my invincibility's gone. How did that happen? I don't get it. What? He still got his. He still got his. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. So now we need to. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I get the crit. Come on, come on, come on! Pass, pass, pass! No, he beat me. <laughs> he beat me to it. What? Okay, so we. Right. Comso, Comso has got this. Oh, in comes his. Wow. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Well. Well, with that being said, we may as well go for this. He can't swap out. We're going to do a big chunk of damage to him. Maybe even kill him. Oh, no. He has 20% armor. Okay. It's, it's, not, it's not over just yet. He's probably going to force me to swap out. He does have a counter. I think, yeah, Robin Wing. I think he gets a shield and he gets a speed boost. But if he hits me, uh, oh, which he has done. Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, you see what I mean? It's just like, if he wins, congratulations, man. Well played. Well done. Um, because now it's Ankylosaur Lux or Compsoraptor. And he didn't even get the swap in with the Compsoraptor. So I get to cleanse myself. Because I do have priority. Thank God that I didn't. If I wasn't quicker than him, that was it. Game done, I think. Yeah. It's level 28. It survives a rev. It survives a rev. Super distraction. Oh, my God. So, yeah, he's going to go for the playful pounce. Um, now, then he will be quicker. And then I think he's won, actually. At this point. I think so? Yeah, I think he has won now. There's 164. Oh, no, I'm one quicker. But, but he's got, he's got his uh, priority. So, yeah, well played. He was my dino down and he won. Oh, well done. I shouldn't have lost that. I played that wrong. Oh, we only lost 20. Okay, so he must be like top 50 player or something. I don't know. That's what I'm going to say. The fact they only lost 20 there. That's amazing. That is amazing. I'm sure, like, I could have probably made some decisions if I, you know, knowing what he had. But it is the game. That is the way it is. I have to give it to him. I really do. Because that was... For even attempting a Pteranodon Valkyrie 
Well played. Well played. So we are quicker, which is good. Oh, he even increased his speed by one just to, you know, beat this matchup. But unfortunately, I put two in, so I'm still quicker. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't think this has favored him. No, okay. So I'm still quicker, so I'll just go for the, the regular. I think he's probably, yeah, he's going to go for the priority, which is fine. And then he's probably going to go for his regular heal. And I think at that point, I'm still in the lead for, um, like, winning this. I think having that, you know, being able to go first, the guarantee of going first, really helps you here. Like, look at that. Ah, that damage. And then he's just going to go for regular heal, I think. Which is fine. Okay. Then I'm going to go for... Ooh, ooh. If I can get him down to just a point. I have not got power tops this whole time. I've never had a chance to swap in something and do a lot of damage. That's a damn shame. So he may as well reduce his attack since he goes first. So at least this thing, he doesn't do much damage to. Yes. Beautiful. Now, we can go for our big hit. I mean, we could probably predict him going for this one. Uh, and having our heal. In fact, I probably should have done that. Yeah. Probably should have done that. Don't know why I didn't. That was stupid. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, because then he's... Yeah, he's won now. Okay, well, that was a terrible idea. Um, oh, I guess we just swap... Oh, he's swapping out. Oh, yes! This actually worked out a favor. You know, maybe it was a good job I didn't have the power tops. Maybe it was. Okay, so now he's going to do a big hit. We can... Oh, having that 7,200... If only it was level 30! If it was level 30, I... Oh, I might be in with a better shot. So what we'll do, we'll just go for this heal... Then, giant hit. And, I mean, there's a chance that he wouldn't get the stun there. I mean, he definitely gets locked in, I think. Yes. Okay, here it is. Here's the big hit. He has to go for a heal now. And even then, he'd still die next turn. And, oh, there it is. You love to see it. You love to see it. Punished. It's like I predicted. I was like, I know he's going to swap. I know he's going to try and finish me. All right, okay. So, that being said... Um... I guess we just go for comps or what? I mean, what's he going to do? He's going to go for his biggest hit because he's going to get the revenge, right? Um, so that, I'd rather do this. Go for the playful pounce. And then, like, a big hit with the priority. I don't know if it's a really good matchup. It, it probably isn't. It depends. Am I quicker? I am quicker than him, right? Yeah! Oh, this is sweet, actually. Okay, okay. Right. Hmm. That means that next turn, I can actually do my Rampage and run and still outspeed him. It depends. Actually. Huh. Maybe not. Oh. It depends what he does here. If he goes for his regular hit. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely survived. Okay. 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 Now, he has his priority heal here. I'm pretty sure. If I swap out, I swap into Rexy. Okay. He's quicker. Uh, right. I... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I don't like it. Ah, no, that wasn't that great. I was hoping I'd be quicker. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. Knew it. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll go for that. I'll go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then uh, I'll go for the priority. And then we'll swap back into Compsa Ra Raptor. Really? Okay. Interesting. Right, right, right. I mean, I'm... Mm, it's not good for me. Oh, I've, sw I've prevented him from swapping out, which is brilliant. Okay. So, out of that, we we we've got full health on our crocodile again. That's good. He's probably going to go for a massive hit. Not expecting me to swap back. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just swap in, swap in all the time, isn't it? Because he's going to go for the biggest hit. He has to. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have to. He could have went for a smaller one. But look at it. It's beautiful. Right, let's see, let's see. Cleanse that. And then he's probably just going to go for his regular heal. Here, I think. Ah, if only I had more health. If I had more health, this wouldn't be an issue. Because now he's now we're back at the same situation we were before. Where he's going to do his regular hit. I just can't whittle him down enough, damn. 
Um, yeah. I mean, I could do this hit. <laughs> We've got to. We've got to do it. Go on, then. Do your little... Oh, well done. Oh, man. If only I went for the biggest hit. Okay, okay. We're getting him in a situation where he's now predicting what I'm going to do. This is, this is the mind game we're going to play. Because I'm on like a losing spiral. But if I can try to get him to predict my downward spiral, I can predict his prediction and start spiraling up. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough, I suppose. Right, now. Now, now, now. What do you think he's going to do? Do you think... Oh... Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is he is he is it predicting? Is he going to go for his smallest hit or is he going to go for a heal? I think he's going to go for his smallest hit here. I hope he does. Oh no, he went for his biggest hit. Right. Very strange. Okay. Oh, I think maybe I'm slowly getting him a little lower every time. Yes, I am. It is working. It is working. Now he's going to go for his regular heal here. Right, this is it. This is how we predict him. Yes, I think I've weaseled my way out. So now I can go for... I mean, he's probably going to go want to go for his little hit. Right, right. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, that is interesting. I thought... Oh, I thought he was going to go for his little hit. No, you weren't supposed to do that, damn it. Oh, damn. Oh, now it's not good at all. Uh, oh, no, I'm quicker. Sweet. Should we get out? Or do we do this one? Ho, 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 ho. If I get a crit, I got 30% chance. Go with a crit. Yes. Yes. No way. Oh, you put the work in. The game treats you right. And then we... Oh, he's not happy. He's like, really? Really? And now we got Rexy. Now we got Rexy. What are you going to do against Rexy? I get a big hit. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll go for this one. Predicting your super distraction. Ha ha ha! Nice! You're done, son! Unless you've got something else I don't know about, which could probably come in and kill me. No, you... I, unless you've also got the Alberta hybrid. I think I'm good. Right, now we're going to do a bunch of damage. And... Yeah! I mean, wow, I didn't realize it lasted for so long, actually. Yeah, we'll go for this. Go for this one. Do a lot of damage. And then he should go for his biggest hit here. I hope he does. He doesn't have to. Oh, he didn't! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, that's that's game, I think. Because now I've just got Comsoraptor. He can't swap out. Uh, yeah! Okay! Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh. Now, you have to admit, that was lucky. I mean, if I hadn't got the crit there, he, he, had, he had that in the bag. There's nothing I could do. Yeah, you have to admit that, like, there was nothing I could do there. I just had to try and predict him predicting what I was going to do. And eventually, I got lucky with a 30% crit. But there we go. Oh, my God, finally. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.